Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So in February of this year, I posted a video that Windows 12 would not ship with the MSDT and other legacy troubleshooters. And as I mentioned in that video, which I'll leave a link to in the description, the MSDT troubleshooter, which by the way, you can get to by heading to your search and just typing in MSDT. Um, the MSDT troubleshooter deprecation, including redirection and removal of legacy inbox troubleshooters, will go into effect on devices running the next release of Windows 11 and beyond. Now, just to let you know um, that Microsoft now has started the deprecation of the Microsoft Support Diagnostic Tool, MSDT for short, and the MSDT troubleshooters. Now, already Microsoft uh, is retiring some Windows Legacy Inbox troubleshooters. So if we head over to our troubleshooter page on Windows 11 version 22H2, which is found on the system page, and click on Troubleshoot, uh, we can and head to other troubleshooters. We can already see that the keyboard troubleshooter, the speech troubleshooter, and the Microsoft Support Diagnostic Tool MSDT that runs them um, are no longer found on this page. So already Microsoft has started retiring and also removing some of those legacy inbox troubleshooters from the other troubleshooters page. Now, um, the legacy inbox Windows troubleshooters are built-in tools in case you're unaware that when launched automatically diagnose and correct common problems for a variety of Windows features. And uh, the MSDT uh, troubleshooters will be deprecated in the next Windows 11 release with the date to be determined. Now, that, that, next, Windows, uh, that next Windows 11 release uh, is possibly going to be Windows 12. And uh, um, you'll see why I'm saying this as we look a little bit deeper into this um, as we go through the video. Now, if we launch the um, Microsoft Support Diagnostic Tool, you can see here at the bottom, it says, Troubleshooters have moved and this tool will be retired. So if you click on Learn More, it takes us over to um, that announcement by Microsoft over on their support page. And if we scroll down here, it says the estimated deprecation timeline will take place over the next three years. So in 2023, um, as mentioned, they begin redirecting some of the troubleshooters to the new Get Help troubleshooting platform. And that's already started taking place, as mentioned. And by the way, Get Help is also a built-in tool that is bundled with Windows 11. And to get to that, here is the tool, get help, click on that. And this is where a lot of the troubleshooters now are being redirected to, as I have mentioned in that previous video. But you can go check that other video out. It will give you a lot more info. Then moving into 2024, complete the troubleshooter redirection and remove the rest of the troubleshooters. And then in 2025, remove the entire MSDT platform. So that's the estimated deprecation timeline as Microsoft has mentioned. Now, if we just carry on um, with that announcement by Microsoft, they do say, and something to take note of, if you are running Windows 11 version 22H2 and older, so that would be Windows 11 22H2, Windows 10, Windows 8.1, Windows 7, and so on, your device will not be affected by the MSDT troubleshooter retirement. Earlier OS systems will continue to run the legacy inbox troubleshooters. So just take note of that. If you are running an earlier Windows 11, sorry, a Windows version, those legacy inbox troubleshooters will not be affected. So just take note of that. And if we head back to that announcement and we just scroll down to the whole plan, the troubleshooter retirement plan, um, troubleshooters that, that are being redirected, Microsoft says, in 2023-2024, Microsoft will redirect the following legacy inbox troubleshooters from devices running Windows 11 version 22H2. And here we have a list of all the troubleshooters, and you'll find them now in the new Get Help troubleshooter. So there's a whole list, and I'll leave this page down below if you'd like some more info. But just to demonstrate, as an example, if you are having audio issues, you open Get Help for audio. So as an example now, um, you would head over to the Get Help app and you would just type in audio just to demonstrate how this change is going to take place. And you click on Troubleshoot Audio Issues. That'll take a second or two uh, to generate because it's just searching for articles. And there we go. And you've got the audio troubleshooter and a lot more. So that's more or less how things are going to work um, when those troubleshooters 
those some of those legacy inbox troubleshooters as mentioned in this list will be redirected to the get help app and if we scroll down a little bit further these are the troubleshooters being removed in 2024 microsoft will remove the following legacy inbox troubleshooters from windows devices beginning with the next release of windows 11. now that's important because the next release um, hasn't officially been confirmed by microsoft but there is strong suggestions and a possibility as i have been posting that microsoft the next release of windows will be windows 12. so there is a possibility as i've mentioned before that these will be the troubleshooters that will not be shipped with windows 12. so there's a whole list here once again and i'll leave this um support article down below if you'd like to read up on um the retirement um, of the legacy troubleshooters that will be removed completely and then also troubleshooters that will be directed and just take note as mentioned um, if you are running an earlier version of windows like windows 10 8.1 windows 7 and other earlier os versions um, they will continue to run the legacy inbox troubleshooters so those versions will not be affected so just take note of that so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one